Hello, this is a book I found online called Laying the Axe to the Root. The, the author's name is Ashish Rusher. Looks like they're from um, a ministry called All People's Church and World Outreach in Bangalore, India. This book was uh, distributed. This book was edited, I guess, distributed, um, copyrighted, and published, I believe, in 2023 in Karn Karnataka, India. And their website is APCW. O dot org. Again, the name of the book is called Laying the Axe to the Root Self, Jealousy, Pride, Lust. Contents Introduction First chapter Laying the Axe to the Root of Self. Second chapter Laying the Axe to the Root of Jealousy. Third chapter Laying the Axe to the Root of Pride. Fourth chapter Laying the Axe to the Root of Lust. Introduction. Matthew chapter 3, verse 10 through 12 says, And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. This is John the Baptist speaking, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. While intro introducing the ministry of Jesus Christ to the world, John the Baptist said that Jesus had come to do a purifying work. He used the analogy of the axe being laid to the root of the trees that do not bear good fruit. John the Baptist also, call, also talked about separating the chaff from the wheat. In essence, both these analogies describe a purifying and cleansing work. The axe being laid to the root of the trees implies a much deeper work than merely cutting off the branches and leaves. Likewise, Christ came to deal with the root of the problem. He goes past the surface and deals with issues that lie hidden beneath what generally meets the eye. While we emphasize the wonderful baptism of the Holy Spirit mentioned in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, we overlook the fact that verse 11 is sandwiched between two verses that talk about a purifying work that Jesus came to do. Many of us have neglected the fact that he is coming also signaled the time when the axe is laid to the root and he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Although we are glad and overjoyed at the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the experience of speaking in tongues and the gift of the Holy Spirit manifesting in our lives, we seldom pay attention to the purifying work of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is preceded and followed by a powerful cleansing work of the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. It is a sad fact that most of us have not opened up our lives to his purifying work and instead opted just for the baptism of the Spirit. It is important that we allow the Lord to do a complete work in us. Though the word of God is likened to honey being savored, daily bread being enjoyed, rain bringing refreshing and a lamp giving direction, it is also like a fire burning up the chaff, a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. According to Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. A combined effect of the word as fire, hammer, and sword should have the desired purifying effect on those areas of our lives that need cleansing. The Bible says, And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and 
confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Mark 16, verse 20. Having read this scripture, we sometimes hastily in conclude that God will work with us regardless of how we are. Though it is true that God desires to work with us, there may be certain things in our lives that prevent God from working with, with us. If there are things in our lives that tie God's hands and prevent him from working with us, then those areas must be dealt with. Self, jealousy, pride, and lust are some of the negatives that could hinder God from working with us. When we allow the Lord to lay the axe to the root and do a cleansing work in these areas of our lives, we will be better people, not only for God, but also for each other. God bless. Ashish Rusher. Again, this book is titled Laying the Axe to the Roof to the Root. Thank you.